Welcome, it's High Button Sports. I'm Ryan Pulse. We're here with you down in St. Margaret's Bay for some Nova Scotia U15 major action. We've got a solid matchup here today. We're going to see the Gauls taking on the Dartmouth Whalers here. Buck drive just a few moments away. And getting ready here. We've got the Nets getting fixed up there. Officials making sure everything's all crisp, really ready to go on this Sunday afternoon. Both these teams in action just yesterday. The Dartmouth Whalers taking down the Kings. Mutual Valley Wildcats 4-2 up in the Valley. Meanwhile, the Gulls handed the Rangers a solid thumping 7-1. Both teams are going to close out the weekend with a perfect record, but to do it, they'll have to get through each other. And first face off of the game has been dropped. And they're going to play it back. Rodgers will throw it across. And that one gets sent in. Wheeler is going to start up that pass. Just gets through. Now they're going to throw it over. Lavelle had it for a moment. Lost it. Now it's in along the blue line. And comes back out to the defender for the Whalers. And he bobbled it. That's going to be a turnover. Now that pass will just miss its intended target. Now it's back up against the corner. Rogers had it, sent it back around the net. And tried to throw a check there, missed. Puck came to him, he'd already backed off. Watt with a hit, couldn't knock the puck loose. Now take it, wraps it around. Turned away and held for the whistle. These games coming off the first weekend since Ice Jam, where both these teams managed to make their way into the playoffs. The Toro Bearcats were the ones to take down Dartmouth with a 5-2 score, while the Gulls were held scoreless in their playoff run. The Eastern Hitmen beating them 4 to nothing, but still a lot to feel good about for both these teams, especially the Gulls who have seen themselves climbing up the standings since a bit of a less dominant stretch at the start of the season. They're now fourth in the league, 13-3, 2-1 record. And they can move up if they will win today. And I think a sharp angle shot, that one doesn't make it on target. And now cleared out by the Whalers. Tobin trying to get it. He won't be able to, it leaves the zone. Now it gets sent in. Bellin will pick it up. And he'll just pass it across. Strong had it for a moment, pass it off and he'll get out of the zone. And Link couldn't retrieve it. It'll go all the way down into his end. And Liver will chase him down. Knocks the puck loose. And tried to pass it from behind the net. Can't the first time. Now it gets up to the point the second try. And the Whalers come out with it. And now that one will slide in just past the blue line. Bootlier taking a bit of a hit. And now the Whalers are going to try to start off with something. He got in the zone, lost it. And now it'll come out, picked up by the Whalers. Mackinnon at the point. He gets knocked down. And him and Langeo got a little bit of physical, a little bit of shoving after the fact. That goes into the corner. They poke it around the other side. Now it'll be flipped up. Get into the blue line. That shot blocked. And now up come the goals. That one sent in. Goaltender will... Hold on to it himself, and we will get a whistle. The Whalers themselves, meanwhile, they sit seventh, 10, seven, one, and one. But it is a big game for the Gulls. They can jump all the way up into second. They're just one point back of the Novas and the Bearcats, who are currently tied for that record. And what a run they've been on. And Odell out of the face-off dot, but it'll be Will Ludi will step in to take it. They get it off the face-off, throw it around, Ludi chased for it, he was pushed off the puck. Now it'll be chipped up once. Will it be enough to get out of the zone? Yes, it will. Defense can't quite get a stick on it, so Ryan will skate it in. Tries to make a move, can't hold on to it, gets to it first in the corner. And Henry at the point. 
Passes it across, then he'll throw it, throw it over for Ryan. That one missed. Now we'll try to get it out and fanned on it the first time. Now it's flipped up. But it goes out of play, so we'll get a stoppage. So a defensive zone faceoff now for the Gulls. And they can't win it. Buck goes into the corner there in their own end. And they'll flip it up along the boards. Can't quite clear it. Now it's going to be thrown towards the front of the net, but easily picked off. And Bellin's attempt to clear was no good, so back down it goes. Bellin pins his man against the boards. He threw it just kind of in front of the net. No one quite there to receive it. Haberstock throwing a hit there after the pass was made. Now kept in by Link. Up to the point, Link gets it back. And that shot turned away by the pad. And trying to get McDonald. McDonald has to turn around for it, so he can't quite get the momentum he was looking for. He throws a big hit there. And the Whalers looking to start something up. We're going to puck around the boards there. He lost it. And sent down the ice. And that'll go as an icing. Medius Rusin, the starting goaltender for the Dartmouth Whalers, sporting six wins and 11 games, four losses to go with an 889 save percentage and a 3.15 goals against on the season, while on the other way it's Cale Campbell getting the start. And that shot deflected goes into the corner. Their way out. Odell sent it in. And he's there to apply some pressure. Up to the point now for Bootlier. He'll send it right back down there. And clearing attempt, no good. He fans on the shot. Now it will come out. And missed poke check there. Now it's going to be an opportunity. Shot, and that one's turned away. He tried to just get it to the net from a sharp angle. It hit the back of the net. Then another shot from in tight. So a defensive miscue there could have been trouble, but up to the task was Campbell. Campbell's got an 895 save percentage, 3.22 goals against, seven and four record so far on the season. Of course, those stats and many more are available on the U15 Major website for the Gauls and just every other team in the league if you're ever curious to have a look for it. And Ryan out of the faceoff, Tobin in. Gorman will meet him on the other end. Gets sent in there by Tobin. And now it goes up to the point. He ended up losing it in front of the net. A bit of a dangerous play. He just tries to throw it away there. And Ryan will take the puck. Ryan makes a move. And tries to get the sharp angle shot. That one didn't make it. Cole Rogers getting a stick there. Now Ryan gets it behind the net. Rogers meets him. He'll just have to toss it back up to the point for Henry. Henry shot. Driving rebound scores! And the rebound was wide open. And it's the Dartmouth Whalers striking first. Vander Tobin has him on the board. And he just didn't really have a huge answer defensively. There was a lot of traffic on that shot thrown on net. And Campbell just not able to get the rebound in time. And wide open was Tobin, who was able to just tuck it in the open cage. So 8.55 to go here in period number one. And the Whalers lead. 
Strong giving some chase. And that one he got sent out to the point, kept in by Bell, and he tried to find Strong again, wasn't able to. And uh, thrown around his net there. Now they'll get it out of the zone. And uh, tried to make a move, but wasn't quite able to there. Defender stood strong. And now it'll be whistled down. And we'll get a stoppage in play. Back down to the Whalers' offensive zone it goes. Gull sending out a new unit here, hoping to get this game all tied up. McDonald, Strong, and Haverstock the forwards. And they do win the faceoff. Pass from the point goes all the way behind the net. And now it'll come out of the zone. Bootleary with it. He takes the bump. Now we'll try to get it in. Puck has been along the boards for a moment. And hoping to get a rush in there, but Stick made sure that didn't happen. Kept on side. Makes a move to get in the zone. He'll try to keep the puck. He will. Now try to get it for Fleming. Wasn't quite able to. Now Fleming will pick it up. And he'll lose the puck in his feet, and that'll cause a giveaway. Whalers take it out of the zone. Bootlier intercepts the pass. Isn't quite able to receive it, though, so Ryan will give some chase. Now Bootlier does have it. He loses it. And... We'll just send it across his opponent's blue line. Mackinnon will start in his own end. And that pass, just unable to connect. And the goal's working with it from their own end. Haverstock, he takes a hit. A couple players made sure he didn't have any chance of that puck. And now that pass doesn't quite connect. Galls will get it, try to throw it back in. And the Whalers looking to reset in their own end. Thrown up along the boards. Got a stick on it, so we had to make sure a Whaler touched the puck first. Now it's going to be sent in by the Whalers. And they've got it here. Shot turned away. And that one goes by everyone. Henry has to give chase. He's got Liber behind him, so he'll have to be careful. Liber knew exactly where it was going. He blocks it and picks it off. Throws it in front, and that one's turned away for a whistle. That's one of those things that's a little difficult to teach sometimes, is he was able to read the defender perfectly, get in the right position, and let his body do the work there, and it led to an opportunity offensively. It was one of those plays that really embody you know the difference between a good hockey player and a great hockey player and to be fair Evan Lever has been a great hockey player for the Gulls up come the Whalers they get it in deep Tobin cut the bucket for now it's thrown in the slot but he fanned on it what a prime opportunity there. Now Doyle was giving chase, couldn't quite get to it first. And Langeo will leave it for his teammate, he'll just fire it down. And the Gauls will finish up a change. Odell almost got a stick in there to break that play up. And now the Whalers come in, that shot turned away, rebound, stopped. And picked up again by the Whalers, turns around, fires it, it gets caught on a body. I think it was Cole Rogers. I mean, cleared the zone, so rebounds. Might be an early theme of this hockey game. Liver skates in one on five. Gets it deep and gets to it first. Doesn't have the support though, so picked up behind the net, but now it'll be quickly knocked away again. Liver with it. And that one thrown towards the net, goes around the side. And now he'll chip it up the boards and out. Could be an opportunity the other way. Smith loses it. And that was a dangerous play. Campbell. Oh, man, he went for the poke. Jack was out of position but was able to stop it. That was thrown in front. And they don't like what they're seeing. Goes down the ice for an icing. Of course, you are able to change on an icing here in U15. So 
Uh, pretty no loss play there for the Gulls who seem to get a little, little out of sorts there on that one, but that was a dangerous chance. And you know, I don't usually, it was, it was a late decision for the Pocheck for Kale Campbell, but he was able to recover and keep it out of his own net. A lot with it at the point. He takes a hit as he made the play. And Henry. His shot had a lot of traffic. Haversock tries to get to it first. He will. Now we'll bank it up with the boards and just out. Henry cuts back through a couple of guys. Now it's going to be taken in by LaBelle. And that shot turned away. And cutting in front, shot. What a great chance. Campbell sprawled out for that one. Now a shot from a tight angle. That's turned away. And the Whalers finding their momentum now as this one will hop over Henry Stick and leave the zone. But what a dangerous look. Now it's going to be sent in. And that one picked off, but... Goes a little bit offside, so we'll get a stoppage with 3.31 left to go here in the first period. Shots started out in favor of the Gulls. It's now 10-5 for the Whalers, including an incredible look in front of the net. I'm not 100% sure if Campbell even got a piece of it. Something deflected it. I couldn't tell if it was a player or if it was Campbell, but regardless, whoever did that made a good play to keep it out of the net. We get about five seconds of play here before we get another stoppage, so we'll redo it all over again. And clean win there by the Gulls off the faceoff. Rogers with it now, and he's gonna turn it over. And they skate in, that shot. Hit off McKay and went out of play, so we'll get a stoppage and an offensive zone faceoff for the Whalers. So Ben Henry and Sam Ryan got the assists on the game's only goal so far, as that one is squeezed for another whistle. And pays off one by the Whalers. Weak pass back to the point, gets picked off. Could be an opportunity for Doyle. And he tries to spin around and keep it. He can't, falls down. Defense was on him the whole way. Didn't really give him any space. Rogers chips it back in deep. Doyle will pick it up again. And a thunderous collision by Langeal there. Doyle came in to pick it up. Wasn't quite able to. Now up come the Whalers. Foreman couldn't quite hold on to it. Rogers will pass it across. Whole mess of bodies there got tangled up. It ends up being goal puck, but now it might be turned over. Langill struggled with that play mightily. They couldn't quite make it happen, but they do manage to avoid any danger. Kept into the point, shot, knocked away, and that one will find its way out of play. change the personnel to face up duck. And it's dropped, it's tied up. And it'll be the Gulls who come away with it. He's got Strong with him now, he gets through the defender and tried to throw it for Strong but couldn't quite find it. And now the Whalers will try to start behind their own net. He'll throw it back to the other side. Odell got there quick to break that play up. And now Liver takes it away. Throws it in front of the net. And couldn't quite find Strong. He got tangled up a little bit there. And 
And now he's going to skate in on his own. Goes to the backhand. Spins. Throws it in front. And it goes through the skate to one of his teammates. Now a slap shot taken. That one off target. And Gull's working their way here. It's Fleming. Trying to push this guy back. He's got no time and space. And they were on a chain, so no one was able to help him. But they do get it in deep now. Now Fleming got in there behind the net. We're going to break that play up here with 50 seconds to go in the first frame. Now it's back for Rodgers. His shot scores! And it looks like Nash Haverstock got a piece of it. And there's a little bit of protest now from Rusin, the goaltender. It was something he didn't like there in the play, but... That one should stand as a goal. And we are tied up at one with 46.1 left on the clock. In the last few minutes, they haven't gotten enough bucks on net. Sometimes you do, great things happen. And Gull's working with it now. Shot fanned on, rebound. All blocked away now. Up come the Whalers. Looking to see what they can generate here with 30 seconds left, but they're going to be offside. McDonald skates his way in with it. And his stick wrapped around the defender. He's got to be careful there. He loses it. And now they'll just send it down the ice. But there's a little bit too much time left on the clock. 10 seconds exactly, probably for their liking here. Goal Rogers and Sam Fleming, the assist on the game tying goal. And Whalers do have another face off. It comes out in front, but only Whalers players are. The retrieval will try to clear it out, won't get to. He'll turn around and try to get it on net. Won't quite manage to. That will wrap up. Period number one here. We'll be back here just very shortly, so make sure you stay tuned, get a drink or something, but we'll be back soon with High Button Sports. Second period action underway. Well, it's about to be here. They're ready to drop the puck. And they don't like what they were seeing there on the faceoff. Smith will come in for it. Nope, they were going to send in the other winger in now. So it looked like it was going to be Smith for a moment. He didn't seem to want to, but now he has the puck moving in. Shot gloved down, but he couldn't squeeze it, so it comes loose. Now it's played up to the point. That shot well wide. And flipped up out of the zone for an icing. This isn't the only matchup that's going, or no icing actually. He's gonna fall down. And the Gauls take it away in the offensive zone. Odell will throw for Limer. He's got the puck now behind the net. He throws it in front, and he scores! And it's Cooper Strong who was right there on the back door to put it away. And it's 2-1 for the Gulls on a play that looked for sure like it was going to be icing. Stays alive, and the Gulls don't give him a moment's reprieve. And those plays just weren't quite there in the first 15 minutes for the most part. And less than 30 seconds in here to period number two, they were able to find them.
So that puck will go down. Watt picks it up deep in his own end. He's got a defender on him. He's going to lose the puck. And that one, McDonald keeps it in. That shot deflected away easily by the bat. And Ryan fell down. It was left for his teammate, though. He's got an opportunity. Can he get to the puck? Not quite till it's behind the net. Now it will be pinned against the boards. And we're going to see a penalty against the Gulls. The all important first power play of this game. And the guilty party being McDonald. And an early chance to get right back in this game for the Whalers. Ryan out of the faceoff. Seen a lot of that here early in this game. A lot of face-off changing around, making sure it's done the right way. Now it's up to the point. And he'll throw it across for Ryan, who quickly gives it back to the point. And he's got some pressure on him. He'll lose the puck. He gets thrown around, but it will be kept into the point by Mackinnon. Trombley will hand it back over to Ryan, who's going to skate with it. Moves in for a position for a shot, and off the iron. Campbell didn't really know where that one went, and fortunately goes up and out of play. 124 left to go on the power play. And this faceoff will come just outside of the zone. And now one back to the point. Working from their own blue line now, and they'll start their way in. And that play broken up quickly. And it goes down the ice, and they'll have to reset. Bootlier did a good job getting in the way of that one. And now they're going to make their way into the zone, but Tobin just a little early, so we'll get an offside whistle. Exactly a minute left to go here on the penalty. It was a hooking call on Quay McDonald. And they had a prime chance. They just couldn't beat the iron. Now won by the goals of the faceoff. Try to get it down. We got about as far as the opposing blue line. And Smith will skate in. And Wren will receive it now. Right back to the point. Shot on. Blocked. And McDonald for the Whalers got in the way of that one. Now Wren's shot. Turned away. Rebound. Scores! I said it was a theme early in the game. It comes back. Samuel LaBelle, it looks like the man who has tied this game. Actually, no. It looks like it's Brendan Smith. We are locked in now with two. So Brendan Smith evens up the game. Evan Wren getting the only assist. Big hit there, thrown right out of the face. And it scores! And talk about a momentum swing. He assisted on the last one. He gets this one himself. Evan Wren has given Dartmouth the lead. And about everything that could have went wrong here in the last 30 seconds or so has. And the Gauls find themselves back down. Now it'll be said to goal. He couldn't cover it up. And will keep the play alive. Now they try to throw it in front and aren't quite able to. Now it'll be some bouncing around a couple of guys. Dartmouth comes up with it. Uh, 
And uh, Tromblase gets his way in. And that one easily turned away with the pad. And goals have it behind the net. So it was Brandon Smith from Evan Wren to tie the game. This time it's Evan Wren from Brandon Smith. Another solid hit thrown there to break the tie. Those goals coming 10 seconds apart. And they come. That shot turned away. Rebound played by McKay. Softly tried to get it along the boards, wasn't able to. Then a shot on net was blocked. And a bit of a bouncing puck didn't clear it as well as they hoped. Now it will. And the defender spun, fell down as he played it. And now Ryan wants to pick it up. For Tremblay. And that one deflected to the side of the pad, right to his defender. So no danger there. In come the Gauls. And he threw it front rebound. Just wide of the net, but a great look there. Now it's at the point. That shot goes wide. Goalie doesn't quite have, have it. Has to retreat back to his net. And comes up from behind the net. Momentarily held by the Whalers and sent back in. Now this one will be fired down the ice. Icing the call. There was a good look in front of the net there for Sam Fleming. And that face off, no good. Would have been a nice opportunity there for Haverstock had it been legitimate, but instead we do it again. Now it's up to the point. Work we sent around the boards, Fleming. Gets to it just ahead of his opponent, and now he's got it. A little bit of help from his teammate. Haverstock throws it in front, and uh, that one couldn't quite be handled. Now it's turned on, opportunity, rebound! And no one could get a hold of it. Goalie's backwards, and he scores! What a goal by Quay McDonald, and we are tied! He batted it out of the air after his first try and managed to finish it himself. What a play from start to finish. He had a chance to when the puck was loose. Goaltender was down, he couldn't find it. Goalie wasn't really able to recover, so Sarusin just ends up sort of spinning backwards, hoping that he can cover the net. And he actually did a pretty good job there, but the only spot that was there, McDonald found. So we are all evened up here, 14.32 to go. And an offensive period, now the one shot scores! Hayden Langill left alone in the slot and he ripped it five hole and it's 4-3 for the goals. What an offensive showdown this has turned into. And just a defensive miscue from Dartmouth to leave them all alone. And oh, look at this. We've got a goaltending change here. Medius Rusin's day is done. Silas Mullins is now in the Whaler net. He'll finish with four goals against on 11 shots. And what is a disappointing... What was it, or 12 shots now as the official counter is just updated. A 666 save percentage in what is a disappointing day for him. That one thrown in front of the net, can't quite make it to Rogers, who has to go out to regroup it. And he'll pass across to McKay. It was in Doyle's feet, he couldn't quite locate it. Now Rogers takes it as they tried to clear it in. And uh, now Doyle skated past it, couldn't head on. Langeal gets that one on net, turned away. And now Gorman skates in. It's all tied up, comes out right to the slot, but the good news is teammates there to pick it up for the Whalers, and he'll try to fire it, but it goes into the bench, so 
offensive zone faceoff for the Gauls. And a period that is pretty hard to describe so far. First period, pretty quiet, pretty in favor of the Whalers, but this one has been a back and forth. Goals 37 seconds apart there for the Gauls. Keen Doyle getting the assist on the land. Jill, he fed him right in the middle of the slot. No defenders really in sight. And he had time to rip it five hole. They'll try to clear it out. Good keep in there by Bellin, but wasn't able to chip it far enough in. Now comes Evan Limer, the captain. And his shot handled. A little awkwardly looking there, but a first save and uh, introduction to the game there for Mullins. And Odell got it back to the point there off the faceoff. They shot hit a stick. And now the Whalers will throw it around the net. And Tobin fell down. Now Ryan trying to get a piece of it. He can't quite. Up come the Gauls. Fence door came open there for just a moment. Quickly closed again. And now up come the Whalers. Tobin. He opened the scoring a long time ago. He's going to draw a penalty now. And shot turned away by Campbell. Big save there. A... Didn't, they haven't sent the goaltender to the bench here. And that is an interesting thing there. I'm not sure if that was. And some shoving after the whistle. Trombley and Limer getting into it. And so the goals will be shorthanded for the second time. They did give up a power play goal last time up. The only one we've seen so far in this game. And so we're here for face off now. Both sides ready to go. Puck dropped and gets back to the point for the Whalers. And looking for some opportunities here now. Quick little pass. Ryan takes it. Shot turned away by the pad. Ryan came out to the slot, but luckily it was his own man there to pick it up. That was McDonald. Up come the Whalers. Ryan skates in. Gets a little bit of space and rips the shot just wide. And now sends out. Rumble will do a good job of picking up around center ice line. And now they'll try to work their way in. McKay got there with the body, disrupted the play. Now Trombley will feed it again at about the center ice line. Broke loose by McDonald. And now the Gauls will take a chance shorthanded. That knocked away, but they keep the puck. McDonald will turn around, head back towards enemy territory. Now will cut back and just fire it down. So precious time draining off the clock here for Dartmouth. Now they'll try again. And out the zone it goes again. This one will gently slide into the corner. And Drumblay will start again. He receives that pass. was a little far ahead of him. And he'll send it back to the other side. And try to make a move. He can't. Ryan has it still. And skates into the center of the zone. Shot couldn't be gloved down. Clear attempt was blocked by Ryan. Nice play there. He's looked sharp on this power play, trying to make opportunities for a squad. Now the third across for it. Oh! How did that one not go? Campbell got enough on the pad to send it bouncing off the post. He hit the crossbar afterwards as well. And he started to celebrate. He thought it was in, but not quite. Now out of the penalty box, it's going to be an opportunity. Great defensive play there to make sure nothing happens. He threw it towards the net. That was Strong who had just hopped on the ice. He wasn't serving the penalty, but 
After the penalty end, he got on the ice. Right, quick change. Now it goes down. No icing. Thrown around the boards. Liver the only one there. He picks it up for the goals in the offensive zone. He finds Odell, who will skate in behind the net. And now in front, back opportunity. Puck is loose. And Mullins has just sort of lied down to cover it up. So surprisingly dangerous play there. thrown around the boards. Live are doing everything he can to hold on to it. Now he'll leave it for Strong who throws it in front. And that one trickled to the side of the net. And that one came out of the zone. Liver poked it just back in. Puck stayed in the neutral zone for a moment. Now just chipped a little bit in there. Worth the one to pick it up. His pass was a little bit too far ahead, so they'll clear the zone, but Strong was able to try to poke it free for a moment. Change now for the Whalers, so no offensive opportunity for them. Liver's pass, not on target, but almost bobbled. Now Mackinnon skates in, kind of collided with his own teammate there. And his shot, looks like it just got the pad of Campbell. And that one will be chipped down the ice. We'll go wide at the goaltender, and it'll come back into the Gulls' defensive end. Various other action going on today in U15. A couple games have already wrapped up. The Cougars took down the Halifax Wolverines by a whopping 8-2. The Werewell Bombers beat the Rage 7-4. The Bearcats took down the Hurricanes 5-4. Kings Mutual Valley Wildcats look like they've just down the Rangers 2-1 here. That game just about at its conclusion. Meanwhile, 1-1 between the Bedford Bandits and the Novas. They're still in the middle of the first period. That one's shot in. It'll hit the pad and trickle into the corner. Now to go into the zone defender racing back for it. And he got hit, but was able to make a play, but then it was turned over after. Foreman not able to get it out. Now it's going to be an opportunity for Wren. He's got a goal and assist so far. He throws it and right into the slot there, and he had a chance, but he fanned on it. Now it goes back to the point. Shot from the point, blockered away. Foreman doesn't have a stick. That one, Goaltender tried to glove it down. He couldn't. Gorman retrieves his stick, so a little bit of a fire drill but they do avert the crisis. Gorman will skate it in, tied up with LaBelle, and that's gonna draw a call. And so for the first time, the Gulls will be the ones heading to the power play. And he keeps it free. They got the goalie out for the bench for the extra attacker. Now it's thrown up, that shot turned away. And now we will get the official call. And the first power play for the Gulls with 7-10 left here in the second period. Samuel LaBelle will be the one to serve it. And he'll try to clear it out. Didn't get nearly enough on it now. Fleming takes a moment, thinks what he wants to do. Now gets it to the point. They'll take it right back. And then find Rogers again. And he throws it across in that shot. Good chance there by Haverstock, but turned away. Now it's Rogers with it. And gloved down and held for a whistle. And the clock is still running. And so a few extra seconds drain off. We'll see if. That's rectified. And they do rectify the time issue, so 
They will still get their full two minutes. Now working with it is the Gulls. Shot turned away. Puck drifts out into the slot. No one really went for it on the Gulls, so now Ryan's going to take it away. He skates to the defender. There's three of them. He's trying to get a hold of the puck. Tangled in his feet. He falls down. And great opportunity there. He did a lot trying to make it happen. Now Liver comes back the other way. That shot easily turned away by the pads. But he'll get it as he skates through. He cuts back. And that shot turned away. Now it's sent down the ice. Gamble out to play it behind the net. And the second power play unit comes on. And Tobin lost his stick and got caught in Fleming. And now Wren gets pushed down. He takes Fleming down. Now Fleming will try to start something up. He'll just chip it forward. Not really much more he can do. Bench is ducked for cover a little bit there, but now could be an opportunity for the Whalers shorthanded. Tobin cuts back with it. On the backhand shot, turned away. And that will end the power play. So not a very productive one for the Gulls for the most part. Had a couple moments, but... Haverstock tried to make a move there. His defender fell down after the fact. And now up come the Whalers. There's Thunder Puck over Fleming. Couldn't quite hold it. Bellin can't keep it in. So a good effort by Bellin to try to squeeze it at the blue line, but it wasn't quite enough. Faceoff sent in. And high stick was there for a moment. So the Whalers had to leave the puck and let the Gulls get it out. Haverstock chasing up. Couldn't quite get there in time. Now Smith takes it in for the Whalers. Spins back to the point. Shot. Blocked. Coming with the block, he'll take it up himself. And now tries to throw it over for McDonald. He couldn't quite. Now chipped in. Try to get it out. Gorman picks it off. Gorman with it now. Spins. And it's kind of back towards the point. Then he'll try to throw it across. Rogers moved up for it. Try to get around the net. He couldn't, but he keeps it. Now he'll leave it behind the net for Gorman. Gets it up to the point. Shot Langeal. Didn't make it, now to McKay. He fans on it, and this is gonna be a chance for Smith. In alone on the goaltender, backhand scores! Brendan Smith strikes again. And we are all tied up at four. Unfortunate play there for the Gauls, who had the momentum. Had the opportunities, but really whiffing there. A couple times at the end, including the giveaway that led to that goal. And just, I mean, you got to give props. I thought Gamble did a decent job trying to play it, but it was just a great move. And he fell down, almost turned it over, but luckily his own body sort of blocked the player from getting there, so... No harm, no foul. Liver with it. Chipped it out, and Watt will just spin around, try to drop it for Ryan. It'll end up back to Watt. Ryan can't receive it. Now he will. Ryan skates out into the slot, and he ripped it wide of the net. Now it goes across, and net comes off. But a dangerous play there. And we've seen a lot of goals that have happened uh, pretty close to back-to-back. -to -back. I have a feeling the Dartmouth squad was hoping to repeat that. A 
Liver takes it off a face off. And skates his way in, shot turned away. And a little attention afterwards, Strong poked at it. And the Whalers didn't like that. And a penalty now to Evan Liver on the play. And it did look like it got the stick up there as he came up in defense of his teammate. So an understandable call by the officials and it'll send the Gulls shorthanded again. The Whalers one for two so far on the power play. Their marker came earlier here in this period, just the first few minutes in. That was Brendan Smith with that goal as well. And now they're back to work, seeing if they can get the lead here late in the frame. And Ryan has it now. Skates into some open ice. That shot turned away. Rebound. And he scores. No goal. The net was off. And so they're going to say no goal. Oh, wow. Evan Wren looked like he had it in the net. The official said no. And that is a game-changing call. And there is a discussion by the officials. I'm not sure that's about what they want to overturn. Nope, they are going to keep the call. No goal. Now it's tough to say, to me, it looked like Campbell was the one who knocked the net off. And if that's the case, as fast as the puck went in the net, I would have been inclined to call that a goal. If they think it's a whaler that knocked the net off, very different circumstance. But I am a little bit surprised at the way that call went. It's one of those times I wish we had a booth with video replay. I'd like to get a few different angles of that one. And they've got things all sorted out and ready to go here. So they look like they had their second power play goal and instead they'll have to go back to work. Ryan gets it back to the point. Now it's sent over, shot well over the net. And a good stick there by Ryan to help slow it down and keep it in. Drawn by with it now, shot knocked away. And the goal's gonna try to rip it down the ice. And they will. Good clear there by Seamus McKay. And four checking there was strong. Almost knocked the puck loose. Ren will start it up now, though. He'll find Ryan. John Blay. Heads back to the blue line now. He'll walk in. Pass over. Scores! This time the net came off, but there was no doubt about that one. Power play goal. And it's Evan Wren again. So we had the first one called back. The second one, not so much. And I wonder if that's exactly what the calls are asking, why that one wasn't knocked back for the, for the off net. But that one, I mean, every way you look at it, that was Campbell. Puck was going to go in anyway, so good goal. And it's 5-4 with a minute 27 left. What a period we've been treated to. Now Liver tries to work his way in. He takes the puck. Shot turned away and knocked into the corner. And Liver skating around with it now. He'll try to throw it in front. Can't quite do it. Goes by Odell. And great keep by Liver. Now it comes out. Last minute of play here in the second period. We've got a Zamboni on the way out here for the intermission. Make sure the ice is all cleaned up so it'll be a bit longer of a break this time. Before we come back out for the third period, gives both these teams a chance to regroup, figure out how they want to play a third after a chaotic second frame. Dulles trying to work with it here in the offensive zone, get a hold of it. They're not really able to. That'll be kept in. Odell comes out with it. And now that shot gloved down and held on for a whistle.
Worth noting that Mullins is six for six on shots so far. Been perfect since he came into the game. Ryan put that pot past McKay there for a moment. That was a little bit of a tongue twister there. And now Liver will send it in. Would be high stick, so Fleming will take it in the offensive zone. But he quickly loses it. Out it comes. Ten seconds to go. Might be a chance for one more rush here for the girls if they work fast. And Fleming comes, gives it off, tries with the backhand shot. He won't be able to, and that will wrap up period number two. So a chaotic frame and a late goal scored by Evan Renz. He's a 5-4 lead for the Dartmouth Whalers. We'll be back in about 10 minutes, so stay tuned to High Button Sports.
All right, we're back here for third period action. It's U15 Nova Scotia action, and it's been a wild one so far. Dartmouth Whalers up five to four over the Gulls, who are starting the period shorthanded. Waiting for the official confirmation as to what the call was. They were late coming back onto the ice. As you may have seen, the Whalers were all ready to go and there was no sign of the Gulls for a few moments there. You also may have seen at the end of the period, Evan Liver was chatting late with the official there. Or he was the last player off the ice by probably a minute or so. And both those things, interesting notes. Now the Whalers working with it, that shot blockered away. And the Whalers have it. Now it's up to the point. And back to Carew. And that shot couldn't be swallowed up. It was turned away. Now it goes in front of the net and he scores! Oh man, that one. A bit of a heartbreaker. Cale Campbell couldn't cover it up, lost it in his own skates, and pushed it into the back of his own net. And that is an unfortunate break. Now gets sent in here, now 6-4 for the Whalers. Whistle down, we'll go the other side of the ice. And on that power play to start the period, it was Cooper Strong who was serving it, but on the scoreboard it was listed as number zero. Of course, there is no number zero, so it may have been a bench miner or something of the like. but just an unfortunate situation there that led to the goal. Now they're working with it in front, throws it over, shot turned away by the blocker. Now up come the goals. Odell just stays on side. And the pass for Strong. And it was bouncing, no one could quite receive it. He gets it and throws it around the board. Ends up behind the net. Goals trying to take it away. And it's Odell himself who does it. Now he has it, and they'll skate and throw it back to the point. Bootlayer. His shot goes wide. But will come all the way back out for his partner at the point. Ball's come away with it now. It's strong. He laid it back. Now to the point for Bootlayer. His shot. Turned away, rebound. Goaltender down, and he'll hold on to it. And puck came loose just as the whistle blew. Mullins has used the falling down strategy quite a few times. Grab a hold of loose box. It's actually worked pretty well for him here so far. So Vander Tobin got credit for the goal. That made it six to four. That is his second goal in the game. He's looking to see if he can find the third. And that pass is gonna miss. Got the arm up for a delayed call. And there'll be a Gulls power play here once the whistle blows. For now they've got the extra man on. Trying to work it back in their own end. And that pass hit a body but picked up by McDonald who tries to get it in. Henry will body him away from the puck so McAdam could touch it up. And a power play will go the other way this time. It's Ben Henry who will sit for two. And in a lot of cases, you look at a two-goal deficit here and say this isn't necessarily a goal you have to score on the power play, but to me, it's not about the power play goal. It's about beating Mullins. They have not found the back of the net since he came in.
And so we'll see what they got. They try to throw it across for Evan Limer. He can't quite receive it. So it was deflected on the way in. Odell's shot. It will look like a skate and went wide. And Limer's shot rings it off the iron. And now that'll be almost cleared out. They've all kind of overskated it there. And they find Limer again. Swallowed up, but he'll let it out. Now it's pinned up against the boards. Three goals trying to fight for it now. And finally it comes free. Now they throw it in. Red scores! It's a power play goal. And Quay McDonald has brought them within one. And that's his second of the game. So we've got, I believe, three players now on Hattrick Watch. Quay McDonald, Vander Tobin, and Brendan Smith. But much more importantly, the power play goal makes this a 6-5 hockey game. Face off. And they'll quickly work their way up. Haverstock will skate in. He's got Langell on the other side. That shot turned away. Langell scores! Aiden Langell! And we are all tied up. And just how fast the game can change. It was about beating Mullins, and now they've done it twice. And we are less than, or just over, I should say, four minutes into the final frame. And it's a brand new hockey game. Aiden Langeal with his second of the game. And we are all locked up at six. That one clears out the zone. They just finished up a change. Icing waved off there. Likely could have been played by Bryce and Jardine. Now both players sort of falling down there. And Watt couldn't receive that one cleanly. And he tried to get it up along the boards. And LaBelle, his pass. Connects will work his way through. He cuts in. And the pads were there to turn him away. Odell blocked up by Henry, gets down in the zone. And we got a stoppage in play here. The nice and golf goes back into the goal's end of things. And off the face off. And it's tangled up, goes back for Henry. His shot blocked. Jardine starts up with it. He's pushed along the boards, but Will Ludi will pick it up for him. Ludi sends it in. Odell will give chase. Center on the boards. Bellin pinched in, trying to help keep it in. Now it's lodged on the boards. Comes out. Odell trying to get on it. Now it comes out for a moment. Jardine sends it now behind the net. That puck was missed. Gives Ludi a chance to get in there and try to disrupt it. He's not able to, so out they'll try to get. And it will clear the zone. Ludi almost had it there for a moment, couldn't quite keep it. And now McDonald for the Whalers had it and then lost it. Back down it goes. Henry tried to get it out. And no one really able to get control of this puck now. It'll be flipped out of the zone finally. And the Gulls will just dump it right back in. And right there was McDonald. He knew where he wanted to go to pick that puck off. Now he leaves it for Sam Fleming. Fleming behind the net. Finds the captain, Liver, And he scores! What a shot by Evan Liver! And the league's leading point scorer increases it even more. And it's 7-6 for the Gulls. There wasn't a whole lot of daylight there. Left by Silas Mullins, but the little bit that was there was found. What a shot. And it went from 6-4 to 7-6.
to 7-6. And I have a feeling that's probably not the last goal we're going to see here, folks. Skull's making their way in. And that shot knocked away. Uh, that one goes out of the zone. Just tipped off the stick there of Tobin. Who trying to provide some pressure for the defensive players. Now it's going to be chipped in. And McDonald in trying to disrupt the play. Hooked on the boards. It was a weak try and didn't get out. Now it'll be kept in again at the point. But turned over. And now it finally clears. And it goes. Rogers with it now. Up for McDonald. And Fleming skates up with it. And that shot. Didn't make it on that. Good chance there by Limer, who's trying to add another one. Bellin, his shot didn't make it on that. Goaltender was ready for it, though. And Doyle used the body force to turn over. Then Trombley got in the way of his pass attempt, so it'll be chipped forward. And LaBelle couldn't get it out. Ooh, nice block there by Ryan. He's had a quiet start to the third, but has probably been the best player for the Whalers so far. Out it comes Bellin. Quickly fired it, made sure there was no chance for a rush. And it's going to be turned over now. Whalers trying to make their way in. And penalty coming there. And... Got caught behind them, tried to make up for it, and they're going to step too far. So Key and Doyle will sit in the box with 12 minutes to go here on the clock. And the penalty kill will go to work. Last time up, it was a power play goal. They're two for three now. Of course, the first one waved off. Second time, they were able to finish it off. And that called that goal, because of the power play goal that followed afterwards, maybe a little less than it could have been, but. Now they're at work. Ryan being hounded there by Gorman. Now it's kept into the point. Three players there for the Whalers. Ryan shot scores! And it's another power play goal. This time it's Sam Ryan. And we are once again tied 7-7. Folks, you don't get games like this very often. What a match we've had. And Liver is upset. He's having some conversations with the officials. Pointing in the direction of the Whalers' end. Not sure exactly what he was unhappy about, but of course he did have that conversation at the end of period number two as well, so not the first time he's chatted up the officials in that regard. He threw that one across the net, and Liver couldn't get it there, but he will chase it down to retrieve But Now he leaves it for Fleming. Fleming pushed up against the boards. And it's up against the side of the net. A couple of the players were down. That Impede of progress now. It'll come out for Smith, who will just send it down. Bellin giving chase. And it goes far enough for an icing, so we'll get a stoppage. And Evan Liver just took a penalty. Something happened after the play. It was going to be an icing. And instead, it's going to be a penalty kill for the Gulls. Oh, this, this is something that changes things. And I didn't see exactly what it was. I was looking in a different direction, but it was a pretty quick decision to throw him in the box. And now the goals coach wants a word. And they're going to not give it to him. Faceoff will come closer to the Whalers zone. 
And some frustration building up here on the Gauls end with the officiating. Now they've got a pin in the offensive zone trying to burn away Precious Clock. Up comes Ryan. He scored the last goal. And he gets it across. Got a little bit of room in the slot. He's on the back end. Now drop back for Ryan. And that one wide. And it will just trickle out of the zone. So unsportsmanlike conduct is the official call on Evan Liver. Not quite sure what led up to it, but that is why the Whalers are on the power play. Three for four. And that attempt to get something started misses. It'll be played by Bellin, who will send it into the zone. It'll get past the defender. Carew left to play for it. Langeal putting some pressure on him. Up comes Ryan. And Sharp Angle throws in front. He scores! And I think that one went off Bell and Skates. And it's 8-7 for the Whalers. Four for five now on the power play. Now eight goals on 32 shots for Dartmouth. No sign of a goaltending change. Wait to see if it was ruled to have hit a Whalers player or not. That's on the official goal. And that one for Smith doesn't connect, but he'll get there first. Sam Ryan credited with the goal. Tron Blake getting the assist. So now Ryan's on two goals, and he scored them both pretty recently here. Now it comes up to the point. And that shot, nice block there. And, and Doyle gets knocked down as a reward. Mullins played it behind his own net, had a little bit of pressure coming, was able to get it off. Now it's turned over. Odell's shot is easily handled for the whistle, and we'll get another stoppage in play. 8.37 left to go here in the final period. In one of those games that's a little hard to make predictions for, I'd say. Gulls playing with the hopes of jumping up the standings. Same goes for the Whalers. Both pretty high up. Now it comes out of the zone. And Bootlier. Pin in the boards. And that's going to be a call. Bootlier doesn't like it. And so we're gonna get an altercation here after the whistle, but that was a hit right on the numbers. Although not, not too, too hard of one, so it should only serve as a two minute penalty. But if there's one thing you should not be wanting to do, it's give a power play at this stage in the game when so many goals have found their way in the back of nets. So Owen Sparks, the captain. And they're gonna throw a goal in the box too. some conversation so the retaliation has drawn a call so it'll be two offsetting penalties it looks like and that's bitterly disappointing if you're the Gulls and now the coach having some words he is a little heated and he's been heated all period long he has not liked the way the calls have gone against his team and he is letting the officials know about that So the Gulls' potential power play was neutralized before it even could get off the ground. 
Now McDonald skates out with it, so it stays five on five. McDonald tried to find the little open space he saw, couldn't. Now it's cleared around the net. Bellin pinched up, was able to poke the pass, Ryan. And he tried to throw it up, but it went into the mesh and out of play. Penalty is being officially listed on the Nova Scotia U15 Major site. It's a head contact penalty to, Ro to Rogers, but being served by Fleming, which is interesting distinction because Rogers is currently on the ice. So I'm not sure exactly the way that worked out. The penalty on the Whaler is not yet listed there. So a little bit of confusion on how that last play turned out. Now the goals have it in the offensive zone. And they throw it up for Rogers. And Jardine just turned, fired it, hit off the back of the net. And they won't be able to get it out. Whalers behind their own net. They find Ryan, who will flip it up just out of the reach of Osmond. Now Rogers will skate it back in. And two players went for a hit at the wrong time and almost led to an opportunity for Tobin looking for another goal. But a bit of a miscommunication there by the Gulls. In a game where mistakes have been pretty lethal. Under six to go now. That one thrown out. And we'll go all the way down the ice. No icing, Luke Murphy retrieves it, starts it up, strong. Almost lost the puck, it was Odell, it was in between the skates. Now it's skated in. Doyle gives some chase, tries to get it out. Bellin will keep it in. Bouncing puck went over two Whaler sticks, so. They won't be able to piece out. Nice keep in there at the blue line. And now they'll try to get it out. Now they will. Didn't connect with LaBelle, though, which was likely part of their plan. Liver can't hold it in. Now it's, it's a few bounces. Haverstock gets in in the corner. Now it's played up for Liver. He skates forward, makes a nice move. Throws it off the side of the net. Rogers keeps it in. But then Trombley does a good job to get it up the second time. Turns, fired it, hit off Liver's skates, and he stopped it pretty well. And that one sent down the ice for an ice and didn't connect. I think Trombley was heading off for the change, and that's who he wanted to reach, so. 4.34 to go. Shots 37 to 27. They've actually gotten pretty close between the second and the third period from where we started. Still in favor of the Whalers. They lead 8 to 7 in what has been a wild game so far. And off the face off that one's blocked. Rogers kept it in for a moment. Now flicked up, hits the roof. Way too much there from Sam Ryan. What's been so interesting about how high scoring this game is too is it's never really felt out of reach. It's only been one, maybe two goals apart. Then you get a big swing the other way. That shot turned away. And hit off Fleming's skates, went into the corner. He gave charge for it. He's got McDonald with him for support now. Fleming turned to the backhand, couldn't find anything there. Liver now working with it. Shot, tight angle, almost put it in again. Good save. Goalie giving a little props to his post there, so I think he got some help. Both teams looking to finish out weekends with a 2-0 record as they both got wins yesterday. And 
And the Gulls are in a dogfight here for second in the league standings. Both teams also looking to avenge a early playoff exit. An ice jam just last week, not to each other, of course, but both teams a lot to prove. That puck was loose in the corner for a while. Fleming pokes it in behind the net, McDonald. Tries to tuck it in, and not able to. Bellin came up, was ready for there, now it's sent right back into that corner. And Bellin can't get it that time, it's cleared down, but way too far. Icing is the call with three minutes to go. Strong Odell Doyle, the forwards. Rogers McKay on defense looking at it even up. And it probably won't be far before we're talking about Campbell heading off to the bench. Buck immediately got buried in the corner. No sign of the officials blowing this dead yet. And they started to, but now it was finally retrieved by Odell. Now it goes up to the point. And bobbled a bit there, so he just sends it behind the net for his forwards. Back in the corner it goes. And stop play. And, ooh, an extra shove after the fact. Face off, flipped up and out. Rogers giving Chase, he'll get there first. And he finds McDonald, who quickly lost the puck to Trouble. Now the puck will be picked up by Rogers, who skates in with it. Rogers throws it towards the front of the net, hit a body. Now he'll finish going around the net. In front, Liver shot hit way too many bodies along the way. Out of the zone it goes. Under two minutes to play now. McDonald skates in. And in front of the net. Hit hard, but not on target. And that one goes up out of play. And another late shove after the whistle. It looks like we might have a timeout here. A bit of an interesting game for the Gulls in the sense that a lot of mistakes here have hampered them in this one. Two goals that they put in their own net. One going off of Ballin's skate, and the other one got lost in Campbell's skate, and he sort of ended up guiding on the net. Two goals that, at the end of the day, you kind of put in your own net. You did it to yourself a little bit, and that might very well be the difference here. I know we've got a lot of goals, but... Giving up two ones for free is a difficult thing to overcome. You know, the other way you gotta look at it too, the power play has been so dynamic. There's five power play goals for the Whalers here, folks. That is another number where you, you just have to sit back and you look at it. When you review the game tape and you try to figure out what went wrong, those are the two things that are gonna stand out for the goals if they can't find a way to get this evened up. Goaltender is heading off. And he's getting sent back. Which means there's too many players on the ice, so Strong has to head off. Liver comes in. Now he was kind of pressed up along the boards there. I'm not exactly sure what went down, but. Goaltender back at his net might be a good thing because Whalers have it off the face off. Odell chasing it back, 90 seconds now. And they gotta get something started here. Fleming skates up with it. And now 
Cliver has it. Sent in the zone behind the net. Goaltender is going to take off, so there'll be six on five. Now flip down the ice, and that's wide, so we'll get a whistle and an icing. 102 left, and it'll be an offensive zone faceoff for the Gulls. It's been almost 10 full minutes without a goal. And the way this game has gone, that feels very unusual. Off the face off, kept in at the point. Good work by Odell. Fleming picks it up. Back for Odell, he misses and it's gonna roll all the way back down. Precious seconds ticking off the clock. He'll play it in behind his own net. He's gotta be careful, the cage is open. If they turn it over, that pass. Not well received by McDonald, it goes out loose. Fleming picks it up. A rough start here to having the man advantage. Now drop back for Odell. Gets by the sliding defenseman. And now they get the puck in deep. Liver with it. He was beside Fleming for a moment, then he made some space moving back towards the point. Rogers over for Liver, his shot wide. Rogers receives it 17 seconds. And they've got to get something going here, folks. Now it's over for Liver, shot! Oh, and that's turned away. Now they'll pin it up against the boards as the final seconds move down the clock. What a performance from both sides. What a game. And we've got some rough stuff late. Liver and Ryan going at it here as the time ticks away and the game is over. And the refs will try to sort control of it here. Oswald now looks like he's got Liver with him. And now they will celebrate a hard fought win. What a matchup we had here. A lot of goals, an 8-7 final here as the Dartmouth Whalers pick up some crucial points over the Gulls. I'm Ryan Paulsford, who's been with High Button Sports. Thank you for tuning in. Take care and have yourself a great rest of your weekend.